everyone, welcome back to Sammy J Reads. I'm Sammy, and this is a place in which I read a book, I review it, and hopefully I save you from reading a terrible book. First, I'm just going to apologize for any of the background noise. Normally I have my fish tank running, which it is, but we have a family friend who's staying, and so he started to do laundry earlier, and he just doesn't know that I film during these days at this time. So we'll try and make do. This week's book review is going to be on another manga. It is my second favorite manga, and it has both a fan base and a troll base. Yeah, that's right. I just coined the term troll base. So if anyone uses it here on out, papa. If you've already read the title, then you already know what the review is, which is sort of a buzzkill, but yeah. Then you know that we're going to go ahead and review Naruto. Yeah. If you haven't read Naruto, or even heard of it, the basic idea of the entire story, along with the entire series, is that we have a young, ramen-loving ninja in training who wants to become the Hokage. Hokage is basically the president of the ninjas, but not only do you have to be politically aware, you also have to be very badass. You have to be elite, very skilled. You're pretty much the best ninja in the entire village. When you first meet Naruto in the volume, you go, Psh. there's no way he's gonna become Hokage if he's acting like that. I say this is because when you first meet Naruto, you instantly see that he's a class clown, he's a prankster, he's defacing sort of the ninja Mount Rushmore of sorts. You don't take him seriously, neither does the entire village. Naruto's goal is to prove to everyone that he is worth something. The reason why this novel has a sort of strong troll base that I would consider it, is because of the anime. When it came over to America and it was dubbed, we got this sort of infamous catchphrase from Naruto that's mentioned nowhere in the novel as much as it is in the anime, and he constantly says, BELIEVE IT! If you say that, you kill a ninja, BELIEVE IT! It's totally fine by me, because the less ninjas there are, the easier it is for me to become the top ninja. BELIEVE IT! Yeah, that's right, I'm a ninja. But we're not gonna really compare the anime with the manga. In this first volume of the series, it is rather character-based. You end up meeting Naruto and learning a little bit about his history. You meet Sakura, you meet Sasuke, and you meet the infamous Kakashi. We already know that Naruto is already the class clown. He's never been good at school and he's always made fun of. He's the loner. One of the other characters we end up meeting is Sakura. She is studious. She is smart. She is sweet on the outside, but on the inside she's really sort of evil and very menacing of a sorts. Pretty much almost as immature as Naruto at times. Love struck, fangirl, over our other character Sasuke, who is our emo character of the trio. Right on. Sasuke, who is basically our little emo, quiet, mysterious boy that all the girls fawn over in the book and outside the book. The fan base for characters on Sasuke outside the book is like, yeah, it's so. Oh. I'm not a huge fan of Sasuke because, for me, he's a little too depressing for my own taste. Additionally with Sasuke, we find out that he sort of has a vengeance towards an individual that killed his clan many years ago. The final character we meet is going to be the infamous Kakashi, who pretty much is one of the favorite senseis of everyone. He's one of the favorite characters. He is very lazy-ish, laid back. He's really badass. Like, when the kids first meet him and he has some fight against him, he's end up he's reading a dirty novel. What I tend to see for the general consensus is that everyone sees Naruto as annoying in this first volume. Sakura, meh, she's not that amazing. If if you're older and you're reading it, usually you're going like, oh god, Sakura. <laughs> Especially if you're female. And Sasuke. If you see the him as very depressing, that would be typical. Unless you heartthrob over him, then that's another typical response. Kakashi you immediately attach to because he's pretty much just badass. Because this volume is so character driven and doesn't have much going for catching your attention, I would... it's really hard to get into. I would recommend not judging the series with this first volume because it is just character driven. It's not going to be a volume where you read it and it catches your attention and you're like, okay, read the next book. It just leaves you on a cliffhanger, which is the only reason why you want to read the next book. I started reading this back in high school, and one of the things that kept me reading it in the beginning was actually because my boyfriend got me into it, and he was like, oh, you gotta keep reading, you gotta keep reading. Eventually, when it got into the storyline, I got more interest. Recommending this series, it's sort of a tough call. A lot of young kids tend to enjoy it, especially for some of that mature aspect to it, which is 
you know, Naruto's famous sexy no jitsu. Gosh, I wish I could do that. I mean, like, oh, that would be sweet. My favorite characters really didn't show up until there was a three year time span jump. She is probably one of the coolest ninjas I've ever seen. And I'm just, it's maybe a slight spoiler. She's, um, Conan. Conan is my favorite character of all time in this entire series because, let's admit it, fighting with paper is the most badass thing ever! Who would think of that? Like, you could give paper cuts! But she's not just giving people paper cuts, she's doing origami stuff and it's totally awesome. Going back to the anime, I would say don't rely on it completely because of the three year fillers that they had and sometimes the storyline gets a little mixed up. So that's it on Sammy J Reads. If you have read Naruto, whether it's this first book or the series, and you have your own reviews, whether you hate it, you love it, go ahead, comment down below, leave me a video response. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. If you have a book that you want me to read, review, and do the whole shebang with, go ahead, comment down below, or you can message me, anything, and I'll check it out and all that fun stuff. If you want to see more book reviews, I post every Thursday, and yeah, just hit subscribe up above, and I'll see you guys in your inbox. Totally. That's it on Sammy J Reads, and I will see you guys on the other side of the book. Bye. Up in the mountains. Yeah, I live above 9,000 feet. It's totally sweet.